Welcome back. Let's play some more 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. And let me remember to fix my volume before we blow your ears out. There we go. Good luck. Wow, so fast with that first move. How do they do that? Truly. Okay. Um, we're going to get the same opening that we've gotten in our teaching ladder on many occasions. We'll see if I can come up with a reasonable way to play it. So today we're trying Mino Castle against this. Against Opposing Rook. If this pawn advances, do I dare dive my king to protect the knight? Or do I just advance... What the hell? <laughs> Alright, well, that's a decision. Um... Alright, let's protect the knight. And further protect this guy. And then we just got this massive looming threat over the silver here. That will execute whenever it happens to execute. Um, hmm. Okay. Maybe I bring the gold up here. Well, that. I've never seen that animation. Have you? Um. Not for this move. So we are off in the wild blue yonder of opening theory. Um, let's expose my rook. Mm hmm. And then this is hanging. <sighs> okay. If gold takes, silver retreats. Rook takes. I don't know. Even the gold takes silver... Oh, well, okay. This could have gotten way more complicated than it did get. Um, I missed a crucial line here. It's okay. We survived this time because we got lucky as I normally do. But, you know, relying on luck is not a good strategy. Um, so yeah, the knight and rook are hanging here. Consequently, uh, my own rook hanging is not the only consideration here. Although they could try, I don't know. Not sure how that resolves. Um, mm -hmm. So that hits a pawn. Nanafumi.
Okay, let's try defending things. Let's see how this goes. Hmm. The ballsy move would be to attack the knight. I think it's also the right move. I'm not seeing anything better. Alright, here it goes. As far as I can tell, my pieces are defended adequately. So, hopefully I'm correct. Uh, there's problems all over the place here. Hmm. So they can drop a pawn. Oh, they didn't. Okay. My everything is hanging. That's not a great situation. Go home. What have I missed? Mm -hmm. I think against this I'm also supposed to retreat. That is a fork. I'm not going to give them a rook to drop against my camp. Not while a rook can be such an effective attacker. Um, that said, they might consider this pawn... Well, okay, I'm contradicting myself. I might have to exchange a rook here. I don't have to exchange it, though, actually. So I think this through. Uh, no. There's no perfect defense. Oh my goodness. Silver takes, rook takes, pawn drop, pawn drop takes, so yuck. Um let's try this.
I could use a rook. Welcome. This is really confusing. Has to return his uh, suntanned toad picture back. I see. Oh, welcome everyone. <laughs> Sorry, I missed that that was a raid. Yeah, we're just playing an endgame here. Trying to survive against our opponent's very powerful attack. Um, I think I'm surviving though. So, that's what matters. Frogman raids Frogman. We also got a new uh, follower emote there that just says hi to folks. So, uh, uh, thanks uh, to Erwin for contributing that. It's so cute. So pawns tend to be good at blocking bishop. Oh, my rook is hanging. I maybe don't want to give up my rook for nothing. Maybe. Just saying. Um, Alright, so how do I dig myself out of this one? I could take a lance, they take this, and maybe I survive? Probably not. Or we try to remove this extremely dangerous bishop and give them the rook they've been asking for the entire game. But hey, I got to welcome everybody who was raiding, so... It's a fair exchange. They threaten mate in one. Maybe I want to do something about it. We'll do something about the mate in one threat. Yeah, it's so cute. And I'd like every uh, person who plays this game uh, in some shape, way, or form to be able to use that. Um... Alright, so this is a threat I've been lining up forever. I'm just going to play it and see what happens. Um, yeah, Shogi Wars is mostly an app. You can also play it through a browser, but almost everyone plays it through an app. Um, that's a really weird drop. Alright, I'm gonna try to checkmate you. You're gonna take back. And then this is a fork. You're gonna do something with your rook, and then I'm gonna take your gold and checkmate you. Or, you defend against my threat. Um... That makes sense. I guess I take it. Mm -hmm. Ippun. Yeah, that's telling me I've got not much time left. Oh crap, they just took a silver general. Okay, well, they, instead of using their existing one, they dropped a new, or the, instead of doing the move I expected, they played a lighter move. So, let's try to checkmate. It's not going to succeed, but I'm going to get another piece. And if I keep getting more pieces, maybe something could happen someday. Uh, 
That is a threat. Shit. All right, I counter your threat with my threat. And then with my other threat. And then my other other threat. Thanks for the game. All right, let's play another. Good luck. Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, in case you hadn't noticed, but especially the checkmate so it sound is pretty loud. But this app tends to be quite noisy um, and exciting. So, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, there's an explosive fanfare when a game concludes by checkmate. Um, oh, this is hanging. Yeah, maybe I want to take a pawn. Maybe I want to engage in this sordid pawn grab that always gets me in trouble. Maybe I don't. How much do I like pawns? Way too much. Oh my goodness. Well then. Um. Um. Oh, my bishop's not even hitting this. Okay. Let's roll the dice. See where we end up here. I spent two moves pushing this pawn. Okay, they defend that. <laughs> um, I am well outside of my comfort zone here. I can push this. They drop, I take, they take, I take, they take. It's nothing. Um, I could force them to drop their final pawn. And then we'll just go about our business playing the rest of the game. That might not be a terrible fate. So. Yeah, I've just got a slight plus, And they have an unpleasant position to deal with. That's not bad. And then we threaten to push and break this open. Hmm. I could have seen that coming. Wait, why did they do that? Interesting. That's not the right castle against my attack. Generally, you want to stop my attack rather than just letting it happen. Um, if I bring the knight up, they can retreat the silver back this way. So my attack is not crushing. I should be much more patient. Um... If I push the center pawn and then do knight takes, I don't win. Let's just build a nice, strong shape. There we go. That's a good shape. For some reason, they're wanting this exchange. Um, I could build pressure here. Now let's take that and then offer the rook for a bishop. They say no. Hmm. Nana fun. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, the sound effects are pretty fun.
So this is one moment where if they don't exchange, I can bring up the silver, and then if they exchange, bring it up again. Oh. Well then. Um, that's not exactly the world's most aggressive move. So this silver is like way behind where it's normally at. Okay, and this now this silver can't retreat anymore. Um I'm gonna take a little bit of care and not completely F this up, but um let's put my rook somewhere harder to attack as we open this diagonal and prepare this knight advance. After the knight advances, they could push this pawn. They anticipate my plan. Um, that's okay. I trapped their bishop. It retreats. I continue the bishop trap. I continue this. Although, no, I should have pushed the center pawn first. But they hastily walk into this. Just believing me. Um... So how does this work? Knight up, silver up, pawn up. They take my knight, I take here, gold over. Promotes, this gold takes. So that doesn't work. Um, what if I throw this in? So now my knight's not hanging once it moves up there. Okay. And we just do the same sequence. All right, they offer a silver. Gofun. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm so confused about how pawn tension works in this game. All right, I'm going to expose my rook. It feels like the right thing to do. I don't know how to follow it up. Okay, I have an idea. We'll see how bad this idea is. Something. Wow. Okay then.
I was going to take with this rook and then drop a silver here. That doesn't seem to go very far. It's still going to do it, because I still, after looking and looking and looking and looking, I still don't see anything better. So, here it is. They don't have to move the rook over. Yeah. And this is where things get complicated. Hmm, I had a pawn drop right there, Nifu. didn't I? Still have a pawn drop here, maybe. Finally. Maybe that's not even my best move. But I'm getting nervous about being down five minutes on the clock. Um, what's the purpose of this move? Okay, I, I have a good idea what its purpose is. Um... Hmm. That's well spotted. So now that I've got this pawn here, my rook can't move through my own pawn. So that's why they picked this timing to try this move. I don't know. I assume moves that are played faster get the little blitz icon, but I don't know what the threshold is. Ippun. I miscalculated. Hmm, maybe it's not so bad. This is what I saw. This is what we're doing. It's risky. I have 33 seconds. At this point, material doesn't matter. Checkmate's the only thing that matters here. So, we're just gonna play a whole bunch of risky moves and hope that I find something good. Um... Yeah, life without 
any time to think is pretty rough. Oops, we have to do this one. That was wrong. I was looking at lots and lots of things and confused two lines with each other. It's not going to matter because they're just going to check me until my time runs out, but um, in a slower game it might matter. I guessed incorrectly. Thanks for the game. Alright, two games down. One to go. What's our next proverb, by the way? Good luck. That's a cute avatar. Here, let's play the engine line. Don't try this one at home. But Geeko favors it for some reason. Either that or I'm confusing myself with some other opening line. Probably that, but this looks fun. Oh gosh darn it. I was so anxious about this bishop drop, I forgot that this is completely hanging. Next turn. If they forget about it two turns in a row, then we take it. How about that? Okay. Man, I could have had this game. This, alright. I mean, I didn't deserve it, but... Like, my one best chance there. I gave up for nothing. Alright, so I build a castle. Oh, come on. There we go. There's our castle. And we'll bring the silver out, to which the opponent's going to respond with some kind of an attack. Um, I guess also we'll try to put some pressure on this diagonal somehow. I'm surprised this is just sitting here. Alright, so I try to take this square. Oh, they have a pawn in hand, don't they? That's a bit of an issue. 
Well, fine. So I've given up a pawn and now a knight. But it's just a knight, right? How could this possibly snowball? Let's find out. I guess I'm still tilting from last game and my time management there. Hmm. I didn't know I could tilt so much. I expect a pawn drop here, but maybe that's not going to happen. Maybe they have more aggressive intentions and they're trying to sort out what best to do. Whereas I just pick a plan and I go with it, and half the time the plan I see isn't even a real plan. But I had a plan. Yeah, this game I'm playing much too fast. And wish I had a plan. I've got three pawns in hand and an obvious target to aim at. Why would the opponent allow this? Oh, because dropping pawns, they're not going to take here. They would just retreat instead, and I retreat, and it's a wash. And they're up material, so they don't need to play aggressively here. Um, if I drop back there, the bishop takes back, so... Well, plus if I drop here, the silver is hanging. Um... Okay, I don't want this close to my king, so... Okay. Funny thing I was saying there, eh? What the hell is this? I mean, yeah, my castle is quite sad. I do have a castle, though. What are they doing? They are intending this pawn drop. Nana fun. What if I let them drop here? I retreat. They take my pawn. I push here. I'm attacking the silver. They sack back here and get the silver off the board. Hmm. It's still a wash. Hmm.
Hey, not move this. Okay, I can move it. Um. Gofun. It does defend a knight. Separate the king and rook, they said. Oh, well, okay, I walked into another fork. Oh my goodness. Why is it so easy to walk into forks in this game? Whatever. How bad's the fork? Yep, this is definitely a Q level game. Both of us love hanging pieces. Um, Shogi's hard. It really is. So I'm trying to take this, but also trying to drop a bishop here and then promote there. And the bishop would also attack the silver. Oh, but the bishop drop here is unsound due to this knight. Hmm. I mean, maybe I still have a point with this, but it's not... This is a mess. Okay, somehow I've made inroads puncturing this castle. But the silver is well placed to defend against the knight. I'm trying to avoid exchanging too many pieces because my king is very severely exposed. Um, and I'm pretending I have an attack. So we'll see how far I get with that. The only thing I've done right is scare the silver away from my king. And that might not have been the most important thing to do. So that even that could have been wrong. They have a really pleasant position. They just have to attack. Um, it's not easy for me to come up with a reasonable defense.
There, I've separated my king and rook. Just like the good book tells us to do. My rook is now in the opponent's field. Can't get more separated than that. Oh. Okay, I have to run here, don't I? There's not far to run to, but running's the only option. Mm. Yeah, transport was right. Transport was very correct. <laughs> so, yeah, giving the bishop in hand to the opponent made it very difficult for me to find ideas. And I blitzed through the discomfort, and look where we're at now. It just dawned on me that transport might not be a verb in this case, but like a gerund or a noun. Like Pokemon that you might use for transportation purposes. That just dawned on me. Huh. I offer a draw. <laughs> Alright, uh, it's not happening, is it? Alright. Um, do you have a choice? Let's do this. I don't have a choice anymore. Sure. <laughs> Thanks for the game. All right, that's three games. That makes our complement of games that the site allows us to play in one day. Hope we've enjoyed. Thanks for watching.